Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Mac Doodles. I'm your host and instructor, Eric Cuajardo, and today we're going to be doodling dinosaurs. I'm so excited. I've never doodled dinosaurs before. So, it's okay. Today we have the help of Jennifer Lipsy's book, I Love to Draw. This book is great for children who are just beginning how to draw because it really breaks down the more complex illustrations into simplistic forms of geometry. I love that book because it even helped me with the simplistic forms of laying this doodle out for you guys to follow me as I actually create it. Thank you, Jennifer. Before we get started, I would like to review the materials that we will be using today while doodling. So let's check them out. Please remember during our workshop, we're using the following materials. Prismacolor Color Erase Blue Pencil. This pencil is used for outlining simple shapes. If you don't have a blue pencil, then you could use the 2B Graphic Pencil. This pencil is easy to erase with a white eraser. Once we have moved on in our workshop, we will begin using graphic pens. My favorite company to use is Micron. This pen is distributed by Secura of America. I use a variety of pens, one being Micron 005 for the fine details in the illustration or doodle. I also use Micron 02 for the regular details or outline. These are simple lines that give us the idea of what the overall image is going to look like. Once I'm ready to use bold details, I use the Micron 08 pen. This will make details pop out and create hierarchy within the image. Last, when I'm happy with my illustration or doodle, I will outline the entire image in graphic one. This is for bold outline and will allow your eye to pay attention to the overall composition of the doodle. You could use any company of pen or marker to illustrate, but personally, I like the Micron and Secura of America product because they are archival and waterproof, meaning that they will last throughout the years. When you are using the Prismacolor color erase pencils or graphite pencil, please remember that you could always erase it with a white eraser. All of these products can be bought at your local hobby shop. Some of my favorites are Michael's, Hobby Lobby, BlickArt.com, and many of these companies ship to your door. Please remember that even if you don't have any of these products at your home, you could still doodle. All you need is any pencil, pen, or marker, and some paper. The paper that we are using today is going to be waterproof so that we can later color it with watercolor paints, but you could also just use regular white paper and color it in with color pencil, crayons, or markers that you choose. So I'm sure you're wondering what we're actually going to be illustrating and how they're going to look. During this process, we're going to learn how to draw a patasaurus, triceratops, and the carnivorous T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex. So are you ready to illustrate and doodle with me? Let's get started. Thank you. 
Oh my God, that was the hardest thing I ever doodled. I'm super exhausted, but we got through it. So what I recommend is that if you are struggling, don't worry about it, I was too. Just keep on practicing, learn your different shapes, then after you doodle, make sure that you consider coloring it with either watercolor, pencil, or digital. It's funny what you learn while you're here at home doodling. This week when I was watching today's third hour, I actually discovered individuals are using Zoom to gather with their friends and play Pictionary. These doodling techniques can help you win the game. So make sure that you tune in, you share with your friends all the skills that you've learned while doodling with us. We want to thank you so much for our virtual experiences at the Mesquite Art Center. Currently in June, we are working on creating a Toad and Go workshop for kids. This will include Canvas Creations. Please make sure that you follow us on our social media and check out what we have coming up. These events will have limited space, so make sure that you register and send me an email. My email is ewahardo at cityofmesquite.com. There's limited space, 20 per event, and we wanna make sure that every child that wants to participate can participate. As time goes on, I will start to develop more virtual events for you and your family to enjoy. Till next week, when we see each other again, remember to have fun, stay safe, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.